Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast, quick hitter edition. We're going to take a trip up to Providence and Federal Hill, going to give a little update on some sightings. The Don, Luigi, Baby Shacks, Minocchio, 96-year-old godfather. Um, he's a legend in New England in, in gangland circles. Uh, he's a lightning rod as well. Uh, some people love him. Some people hate him. But uh, he's definitely a survivor. Anyway, he'd been kind of uh, uh, off the mat for a while. He stepped down back in 2009, went to prison for three or four years, uh, 2011 to about 15, I think, and uh, went to Florida. But with COVID, uh, because he's so old and, and susceptible uh, to, to infection or uh, you know, compromising his immune system or whatnot for someone that's that elderly, uh, had really kind of been a recluse the last uh, three years. Word has been spreading um, that that he's been seen out and about in Federal Hill in uh, the last six or so, you know, last six to eight months since the, maybe the spring. Um, multiple sightings of him. Uh, some some social media pictures have have circulated, uh, and he looks like he's in pretty good health. Uh, walking, driving, you know, not doing what most 96 year olds don't do. So, uh, you know, he's been seen around town and uh, it's just kind of interesting to note uh, 2023 and, and baby checks, 96 years old, still alive and kicking. And then another sighting, um, Bobby DeLuca, Bobby the cigar uh, from what I've heard uh, had, re you know, returned uh, to, back in the summer, uh, attended his brother's funeral. The DeLuca brothers had both uh, cut cooperation deals with the FBI. They testified at the 2018 trial of uh, former New England godfather uh, Cadillac Frank Salemi, and the, uh, he was on trial for the 1993 gangland slaying of Boston nightclub owner Stevie DeSaro, who had been Salemi's partner, the DeLuca brothers, a partner in a, a nightclub. They've the Salemi faction of the of the patriarchal crime family suspected DeSaro was cooperating and they killed him at, at Salemi's house in Sharon, Massachusetts. The DeLuca brothers were in charge of, of, of burying the body once it got delivered to them in Providence. Bobby DeLuca was a, a, a capo, uh, had his eyes on, on dethroning baby shacks. It never happened, went into witness protection and then Word is that he, he's been back around town a little bit. Uh, it's been seen in North Providence. His son lives uh, out there. His family, uh, word is that he came in and said goodbye to his brother, Joe. But uh, at, before he died, that Joe came back. They both had been witness, had been in witness protection. Joe came back to, to die uh, at, in, in his hometown and that Bobby came in to pay his last respects and that he's been seen since then. Joe do died back in the summer. So two old faces, two OGs. Uh, one in a little better standing than the other. Uh, Bobby the Cigar uh, had, has been seen out and about as well, keeping you know more of a low profile uh, and sticking to to uh, uh, the North Providence in, in certain areas that he feels comfortable with. And uh, but but Baby Shacks back on the hill uh, where he where he reigned from the late the mid to late nineties all the way uh, to two thousand nine, where he stepped aside and, and went into retirement. But it, you know, is a guy that. Uh, Traces his roots back to old man Patriarcha, uh, back to the to the fifties and sixties. Was was the definition of uh, a suave, smooth, operating gangster, uh, kind of like a, a James Bond 007, Very um, distinguished, very sophisticated, very intelligent. Uh, was the underboss of of the New England mafia uh, under. Cadillac Frank, and then when Cadillac Frank went to prison, uh, Baby Shacks came into power and really stabilized the uh, the craziness that had been going on in that family for about a decade. So just wanted to report that uh, some old faces have been seen in, in their old stomping grounds of Federal Hill, Providence, the ground zero for the mafia in, in Providence, Rhode Island for 100 years. Uh, Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out.